How's, How's it going, going everyone? Famine 52, 52, back again. again. And, and today, we're finishing, finishing our first playthrough of Spider-Man 2. Let's, Let's get going. going. Hello? Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin' alien invasion. And we did it together. As heroes. The Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today, I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes, author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out with all of you out there. I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up, no exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth. Warps it into something else, like a, a, like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson, signing off. Alright, so, uh, in the last episode, we did end up, uh, finishing the main story of Spider-Man 2, and all of that good stuff, we got introduced to a possibly major character for Spider-Man 3? Who knows? Um, but her name was, uh... Something Moon. I want to say Kate Moon, but I think that might be a different project. Uh, I forget what her first name is, but I thought that it was a reference to Moon Knight, and my brain kind of uh, broke a little bit, because um, that didn't really make all that much sense. However, in between episodes, I have done a little bit of research. Uh, not too much to go into everything about this character, uh, but... That, that is apparently the civilian name for a spider person by the name of Silk, uh, who I knew honestly nothing about in the last episode. Uh, I have since come to realize that Silk is a spider person that in comic lore uh, got bit by the same radioactive spider that gave Pete his powers. He was sitting, or she was sitting in... Um, Protective isolation, I'll call it, for 10 years. And uh, her and Pete have the exact same spider powers in the comics, except for as Pete uses uh, synthetic weapons, she creates her own. So that is going to be very interesting to see how they handle that. Um, but the reason why we're back here and not starting a new game is because if we look through the city... First of all, we have a, uh, a EMF mission right here, uh, but even outside of that, we do have multiple uh, spider bots that we need to get to, and uh, I want to get the platinum, so I'm going to go ahead and get those. Uh, I have already gotten the platinum, it's just for whatever reason my recording kind of bugged out on that, um, but the... Trophies that we are going to be missing, if you followed along with me in game, is to is going to be to get all of the EMF Foundation stuff, all of the Spider Bot stuff, completing all of the um, districts 100%, coming up here to the graveyard and visiting Aunt May as Peter Parker. As well as getting a few more spider arm kills, as well as doing 30 aerial tricks without touching the ground. Uh, I'll show you how to do that last one. Everything else is going to be 
either shown, shown in this video, video or self-explanatory, i.e., how do you get spider bot or spider arm kills? You use the spider arms in combat. Uh, that being said, though, since everything that we are going to be doing uh, today requires Pete, we are going to go ahead and switch over to Pete. And then start off by going to, uh, going to his house. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Break time's over. Anyway, uh, we're going to be coming here, uh, coming home. Uh, to do our last, oh god, to do the last EFM, so let's go ahead and hop on in here. What's this? Harry wanted you to have this. That's Norman. An drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these, and I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree, and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. Alright, so, so here, here we have the final EMF, um, puzzle for us to do. This is actually a relatively uh, difficult one. I tried doing this for probably about 35, uh, well, no, not 35, probably like 15, 20 minutes uh, previously. And uh, it is not easy. Uh, but I believe I remember how to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if I could do this correctly or not. Uh, but I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, this H uh, needs to go up here in top. Oh, uh, by the one, we need one of everything. Uh, now, let's go ahead and plant this plant right here. Which point, I believe it was this water right here. Then this sun right here. Then this plant right here. Here, this is water right here. There we go. I knew you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city, and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us. Oh! One last thing. I... got a little something for you. We're in good health. And completing that also gets us a brand new suit, which, uh, 
kind of looks like spider ant to me or ant spider or something like that uh it does come with a style so let's go ahead and unlock those uh we have the red and black the white and black uh the reverse red and black then the doctor who spacesuit orange uh that being said I am going to go ahead and uh, go back to the anti-venom suit. And up next, we have various uh, spider boss that we need to grab. We have two here in a little Odessa. Um, I forget exactly where they are, but let me go ahead and search around and bring you back when I find them. Can you smell the change in the air? It's fresh and clean. A new day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old grievances. Rearrange priorities. While the world waited with bated breath to see if they would be next. New York stood tall and held the line. We did not acquiesce. After we take a moment to celebrate the freedom we fought so hard to retain, we must then turn our sights to the people responsible for putting us in harm's way to begin with. I'm talking about Oscorp and, of course, the spider -Man. You're going to hear a lot of conflicting reports and lies surrounding the events of last week, but let me assure you, this is still just the facts here, so let's lay them out. Spider-Man was seen wearing a black suit. Then a monster appears wearing a similar suit. Then our proud city is overrun by similar monsters. Oscorp is claiming it's Spider-Man's fault for stealing Oscorp's research. That doesn't surprise me. But Oscorp needs to be held accountable for creating a damn creatures in the first place. This is what happens when corporations try to play God and individuals overreach. Of course, hoping for legal ramifications for wrongdoers is like hoping for an ice cream shop in the desert. We must not forget where the blame lies. We can't forgive either. But for now, enjoy life. We're lucky to have it. Well, there you go, JJ, uh, putting your normal spin on things as usual. Uh, there we have the Scarlet Spider Spider Bot. Uh, it is right here on the map. I believe the next one is actually like down here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look for that. There it is right in front of us actually. And grab it. Hey, little buddy. And the electro-proof Spider-Man bot. Very nice. That is right here on the map. Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, Williamsburg is complete. Uh, but we have one in downtown Brooklyn, which I believe is actually right here. So let's go ahead and grab that. I actually just saw it on, on the radar. Huh. This one's making me uncomfortable. That is the Superior Spider Bot, which is right here in uh, downtown Brooklyn. And we're done with the Financial District. We have one more in Chinatown, which I think was around here. Yeah, I was actually right. Where are you, spider bot? I know I see you. Wait. Oh, there you are. On the... Uh... Gosh. Graffiti? Mural? Wall art? I don't know what to call that. Also, I don't know how it's done, but... 
That's not here or there. Uh, let's see. We also have something over here in Greenwich. Which I don't actually remember where this one is. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel here. See if I get lucky. Which I did not. Only other place that I could think of remembering this being is actually on the waterfront over here. Oh, and that's not actually it, but I did just find one. Or is this it? Like looking at a size fighter bot. Which is the one here in Greenwich. Very nice. Let's see, we have one more in Hell's Kitchen. So let's go ahead and try to locate that one. I believe might be down this way. All that. I, I gotta, gotta move. move. Just be having criminals that I am looking for other stuff right now. There it is. It is up on the smokestack up there, which I think might actually be where we fought Electro in the first game. Did I say it? Kind of cute. So that is the Rhino Spider Bot. And it is located right here on the map. Very nice. Uh, let's see, we have everything in Midtown. Uh, we have the one in the Upper West Side, Central Park, uh, Upper East Side. Uh, so we have two remaining in Harlem. So. Let's go ahead and travel here. And while I'm swinging around looking for this, I might as well go over uh, the one of the other trophies. Uh, while we are swinging, if we press square and a direction, we will do some tricks. Uh, if we do 30 of those, like in between swings without touching the ground, uh, they do not need to be consecutive. It just needs to be without touching the ground. We will gain uh, one of our final trophies. So let's go ahead and grab this spider bot gotcha. right here. That is the Across the Spider-Verse spider bot. Very nice. Yeah, so like right now, I could start doing some flips, go into my swing, do some more flips, and so on and so forth. And as long as I do 30 of these without touching the ground, I will I will be gaining the trophy. Oh, uh, but other than that, we have one more spider bot here. I think it might be up that way. Or it might be closer to Miles' home. I cannot remember, uh, but I will be searching and be back when I find it. Ah, yes, I forgot that it is actually over here. Now, whatever this thing is, let's go ahead and grab this. Might be a coincidence, but you're dressed just like my friend. I got it. The message was using some kind of qubit based algorithm, but I built a decoder table, which was actually kind of genius of me because. That's great, Keggy. What does the message say? It's an address. Looks like an old subway terminal. Been out of service since the 80s. Is it a trap? Nah, it doesn't have a trappy vibe. vibe. What kind of vibe then? I have no idea. And that's what scares me. Alright, so this is where we are on the map. I don't know quite what this thing is. Maybe it's like a little park structure or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, before we go and uh, figure out what's going on with all these spider bots, uh, let's go ahead and visit Aunt May and Uncle Ben up in the cemetery.
Coast. I could be wrong, but I think their location has actually changed from where they were in the first game. I remember them being more over that way, but here we are right here. Parker Lux back with a vengeance. Very well. Um, when you do that and you get the trophy, uh, you will actually be getting a little bit more of a conversation right there. Uh, but because I've already gotten the trophy, it's probably not going to be doing that. Uh, but let's go ahead and shoot down here to the financial district and uh, figure out the, the spider bot stuff. Yankee, you seeing this? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Look at this, a spider hero. We were all saved. Um, hi. Who are you? Me? I'm just a bartender who does favors for people every now and then. And I've learned that rogue spider bots are dangerous and bad for business. Let me take those off your hands. Whoa. Thank you, Spider-Man. We, we can, can always count on you to do the right thing. You're welcome? And Abigail comes looking for these. Tell the finders keepers. Wait, who's Miguel? <laughs> what the hell was that? I, uh... Wish I knew. And the message complete. Uh, that is in fact a Into the Spider Verse uh, little Easter egg thing. Um, I've not watched the movie, but I believe Miguel is uh, like the lead Spider Man slash villain or something like that of that movie or that series of movies uh but anyway uh that is uh, can i do tricks in here i can do tricks in there uh, but anyway that is going to be the end of this episode everyone uh again like i said uh if you're following along you would have the tricks that you need to do as well as the spider arm stuff that you would need to do in order to do the spider arm stuff of course just uh, oh, guys. This isn't helping anybody. just find various can i move please find various uh, crimes and the like and uh yeah can i please and, uh, and uh do your little spider arm Stuff instead of this, this venom gear, and you will eventually get it. But yeah, uh, that is gonna be the end of this episode, everyone. Uh, I have decided that I am going to do a ultimate playthrough, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh hey, Yurik, uh, where we start taking on uh, ultimate difficulty. But until then, this is Family Fifty Two signing out, and peace out. <coughs> Good jump, even if you are getting slow. What? No, I'm not. <laughs>